Hey, nice to see all you guys again. Lieutenant Commander Bolin Midrats with you again, uh, aboard the deck of the ghost ship Bramble. Uh, I got a couple more things to tell you today since I can't get promoted and I got nothing else to do. So I'm going to talk to you guys about the way the Army and the Marine Corps were organized back in the Second World War. So here we go. First thing you got to understand about the Army, and I, I think the Army is the easiest thing to understand here, is that the Army was basically organized into divisions. All right, and you go, well, what's a division? Well, how about I tell you, huh? You start out with parts, okay? And the first part of a division is a squad. And a squad, as you can see here, is about 10 guys, okay? A staff sergeant leads those 10 guys. He's in charge of these 10 guys, says, hey, here's what we're going to do. You put three of them squads together, and you got a platoon. Now, they also got some other guys in the platoon, but we ain't going to talk about that now. That makes a platoon about 40 guys total and three staff sergeants. And the guy in charge of that is a second lieutenant, which if you remember from the other video, a second lieutenant is a very young officer. All right. Now, take four platoons and put them together and you got a company. And a company has about 200 guys in it. And it's led by a captain who's, you know, 23, 24, 25 years old, maybe a guy who's who's been promoted a couple of times. And when you get to 1945 in the war, the captains keep getting younger, right? Um, a battalion has four companies and about 900 guys, and it's led by a lieutenant colonel. Then you got the regiment, and regiment's big, right? Regiments are, are a big formation. The regiment is made up of three battalions, and it's got about 3,000 guys in it, and the leader is a colonel, a full blood colonel. And then Above that is the division, which has got three regiments, about 15,000 guys, and a major general. Now, y'all can do math, right? Y'all a bunch of math geniuses. You look down here and you say, now wait a minute. Lieutenant Commander Midrats, 3,000 times 3 is 9,000, and it ain't 15,000. Where are you getting this three battalions makes a regiment? Well, every one of these things over platoon had subunits. They had artillery, the big cannons. They had supply guys who made sure stuff got got up to the front. They had signals, uh, guys who were in charge of communications. They had cavalry, the guys who go out ahead, look what's up there. Reconnaissance guys, engineers, medical, military police. That's what accounts for the other guys when you're getting these larger numbers. So let me blow your mind for a second. I'm going to try to draw on this thing. Uh, where's the drawing tool? I can't do it. Goodness sakes. Hold on a second. All right, you guys, I think I got this figured out with, with drawing. Okay, so you got, please work. Yes. You got the 83rd Infantry Division. Okay, so here's your big infantry division. That division got three regiments. And in the case of the 83rd, it's the 329th Infantry Regiment, the 330th Infantry Regiment, and the 331, the 331st Infantry Regiment. Now, that regiment got three battalions, and the battalions don't get super fancy names. 1st Battalion, 2nd Battalion, 3rd Battalion. And then each of them battalions got companies, right? And they got four of them. And they keep this pretty easy too. A, B, C, D. And then two has got E, F, G, Oh, man, what comes next? H. This is why I can't get promoted. 3rd Battalion, I, J, K, L. All right. So then, each of these companies got four platoons. They got numbers. 1st Platoon, 2nd Platoon, 3rd Platoon, 4th Platoon. And each one of them is made up of squads. What you're going to find when you do research on your guys is that if you're really lucky and you're researching an army guy, you find out what company he is. So if you see something that says a guy was C, 
331. It means he was in C Company of the 331st Infantry Regiment. Then you can kind of figure out, well, if he was C, A, B, C, D, that means he was in the 1st Battalion. So you know a little bit more there. So this is basically how your United States Army was organized in the Second World War. Now, give me a second here. Figure out how the rest of this stuff works. I don't know nothing. This is why I can't get promoted. Come on, man. I can't even get out of here. I am the dumbest guy in the world. All I can do is draw little red dots. Okay, maybe I figured it out. Who knows? I don't know. That was your army division structure. Now, let me show you something that's going to blow your mind. All right. They called this the triangular division. All right. Now, this is a nice army infantry division uh, flow chart that I found online. And it shows you how you had the division up here. Division's got a headquarters company to take care of whatever headquarters does. Three infantry regiments. They got the three infantry battalions under them with a cannon company, anti-tank company, service company, medical detachment. Then you got all this other stuff. You got the division level artillery, and you got all these guys over here. So here's what I hope will blow your mind. They call this the triangular division because at any time, your division is going to have two regiments at the front. So if we think about that 83rd division that I told you about, if they got the 331st fighting and they got the 330th fighting, they hold 329 in reserve. And if you think about this, it's a really smart way of doing business because it keeps some of your guys at the back where they can rest, recuperate, and be used in a later fight if, if necessary. It keeps other guys at the front, and it rotates and rotates and rotates without you ever losing more than about a third of your power. So, all right. So, all of that known now, let's see if I can figure out what I'm doing. Stuff. The Marine divisions looked a lot similar, but not exactly the same. So, here's the deal. Here's what the Marine Divisions look like. The Marine Division, very similar, okay? Ten guys in a squad, led by a sergeant. Three squads to a platoon, led by a second lieutenant. Four platoons to a company, led by a captain. Four companies to a battalion, led by a lieutenant colonel. Regiment had three infantry battalions, led by a colonel. But you see it's a little bigger. Marine Divisions had the added problem of the fact that in most places they had to get themselves on to land so they had a lot more different support troops you see they had three infantry regiments artillery regiment tank battalion engineer battalion pioneer battalion lots of things the army didn't need when the army was just fighting land to land to land to land to land so that's the, the big difference between the marine division structure and the army structure in the second world war the air force don't get me started Air Force structure, who can make sense of this? Every one of them is different. Eighth Air Force is the one people normally know about. And you see that the Eighth Air Force, this is in 1942, they were answering to the European Theater Operations Command. Then under the Eighth Air Force, they had Ground Air Support Command, Service Command, Bomber Command, Composite Command, Fighter Command, and then they got a wing. And under the wing are the groups. This changes over the course of the war. That was one of the easy ones. When you get to 1944, the 9th Air Force has troop carrier wings, combat wings, fighter wings, on and on and on, anti-aircraft brigades, troop carrier command, bomber command, all of these groups, and then each of the groups had squadrons. It's it very confusing very quickly. Uh, perhaps the most confusing one was the Flying Tigers, the 14th Air Force over in the CBI. And he's got, I, can't, I don't even know what's going on in this thing. I, I, they know who that, how they were organized, so I guess that's all that matters. Anyway, thanks for bearing with me and the fact that I don't know how to do things, which is why I can't get promoted. Uh, coming to you from the deck of the ghost ship Bramble, Lieutenant Commander Bowling Midrats. Take care, you guys.